Hello, hello. Oh, man. Can't get over how good that uh, Deus Ex soundtrack is. Specifically the Hong Kong song. Or the Hong Kong uh, Marketplace soundtrack. Um, first things first, how about we just... No, you know what? First things first. Instead of dealing with the Anju Cafe bullshit right now, I'm gonna go say hi to a specific Goron who has a frog. See if I can get something out of him. At this point, I should pretty much know what to do with uh, Anju and Cafe, so... It's hopefully gonna be reasonably painless. I'm very hungry and I'm kinda of stuck here. What if I get you down from there? Would that help? No. Something tough and hard to chew. You want a rock. know how to acquire a rock under these circumstances. Something over there? Let's go take a look. I'm gonna need the scarecrow soon for this. It's an absolute banger, I know. How am I leaving? Actually, that doesn't mean anything. That, you know, there we go. Nope, 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 nope. Wrong button. Maybe the Goron wants this. Well, that didn't work out. There's 
nothing else here, so... What's the point? inside one of these one of these giant snowballs I assume he doesn't want a snowball that would be strange. my friend. doesn't fit the description of anything in, in this area. I don't think he wants a bomb. I, I'm pretty sure I tried that before. I can't even throw these high enough. None of the items in my inventory I would describe as tough or hard to chew. I guess you shall wait longer, because I don't know what to do with this. So, back to the, uh, cafe bullshit. Can 
Can I do the thing? Oh, well, I get the key, I guess. Can I do the other thing? You know, the thing I'm here for? Okay, I can. That here. Right, right, right. Hey, World X. We are at the final part where we wait. Five hours. <laughs> I can spend the time trying to find something. Uh, something uh, tough and hard to chew. Absolutely no idea what it could be, but I'll buy the one thing that I haven't tried that I can throw. Expect nothing, but uh, I got time to kill. Do you say something different during the night? How flavorable is this? Nope. Uh, well. Apologies, dude. <laughs> tell me, tell me your secrets. There is nothing in this area that I can throw besides that pot, and I can't throw it high enough. <laughs> and I don't really have any items that I can bring with me that I can throw. Uh, the controller just had a breakdown. Okay. Oh god, uh... Pause. I'm out of batteries. <laughs> God, I have one battery. The fuck is this? <laughs> okay. 
Okay, well, I guess I'll get some more then. So, uh, you know what? Let's not pause. I'll just tank the hits. I'm killing time anyway. Bad the go around is at combat. <laughs> Can I point a bottle at you? Well, not an empty one at least. Kill the bottle with something easily. Not really. I'll be back with something I can, uh, I can bottle. I'll take a hint at some point. I mean, right now I'm I'm starting with the with the Andrew bullshit. Just came here because time to kill. It, when it inevitably doesn't click with me, then I'll take a hint. There's probably some uh, uh, gossip stone somewhere that can help me with that, but I don't know where. Oh, hey, speaking of things to bother. Maybe he likes bugs. Anju. fish. Was there some time, time-specific thing that I have to be at? Uh, I have to be at Cafe's place at a certain hour. doing? Oh. <laughs> yeah, alright. Can I see when it's delivered? Um. Is this when it's, when it's delivered? So that's... That's too late. That's like 6pm. Surely it's not then.
Like a fish? Or a bug? That's a no. No, you don't. Well, that's sad. He wants something, uh, something tough and hard to chew. There are no rocks in this area, as far as I can tell. Unless there's something up here. I did not check that. And, okay, the, the toughest thing here is there's a pot on the, on the roof, but I can't throw that high enough. There might be a rock here. Getting it down is going to suck, though. Nope, nothing in here. Oh, I'm, I'm almost definitely not figuring this out. guess right now is that I, I'm supposed to bring a uh, big bomb over here. As I can remember. Oh. Oh, is it like a thing that somebody said once and then never again? Maybe an explosive over here would do something. I assume that means that I don't have to uh, uh, melt the snow first. I'll have to melt the snow at some point, I'm sure, because the frog is here. But that's not part of this first step. Like, what else would I have done 14 hours ago? Death Knight. 
I, I think 14 hours ago I was probably around this area. I, imp impossible. Impossible to say. You, you, you know what, just give me a hint. There's no, no point in trying to solve the impossible. Learned a drum song. Oh, yeah, uh, it's the, the kid is somehow re relevant. Yeah, I would not have gone there ever again. left. Yeah, lots of masks. This is the final stretch. As is the fact that I'm not getting any magic. I feel like I've already done this as well. Stale it. Never mind then. Oh, there's a stick. Thank <laughs> you. 
here giving me sticks and magic so I'm obviously supposed to do something with the torches uh, is the time actually accurate it's like just just the mail get delivered that late Too slow. Yeah, I, I think that's uh, that's doable though. But that's gonna be uh, next uh, next attempt. So now we're gonna deal with a different num nuts. I think I gotta find two more frogs. So I found three. And if there's one in each area, then I still have to go back to Great Bay and um, Ikana Valley. So I guess I'll just use this loop solving this puzzle. Quest. I'm also going to make the assumption that the door opens magically. Whenever the correct time is. Fake questline never ends. Oh! 
Nice roll, nice roll. What? I forget to rest. I guess I'll just... Wait, what? What's the next step? Oh, the next step is just... Evening of Final Night, right? So, can I just go to Ikana Valley and time skip to that point? Is that it? Is that everything? Because I will. Mother? I can't remember that one. Oh, that, that was... That was from the other asshole, right? I mean, these are not mutually exclusive, are they? Yeah. Like, I have time to do this after I deal with Cafe's bullshit. I think. Thief, go. Ghosts have been appearing in swarms at the kind of village across the river. Only a curious part of the jaw living there. Yeah, it's a very nice sword. No, you can't see it. I mean, I mean yes, you can! Fucker. There is no point in getting the letter to his mother, right? Unless there's something special to me personally delivering it. Although I... Oh, actually, I, I might have to get that. If I want to complete the... 
uh, the notebook. So I, I don't know exactly what's what's needed for that. But I still have this to deal with. Like if, if if the point is that I I give her the letter personally at that hour, then then I need it. Screw it, I guess I'm doing it. I won't, won't risk it. I probably have time to do it afterwards, but let's not take any chances. What? What? How did that happen? Weird. <laughs> Fumble to inputs unbelievably hard. Okay, I can time warp once. Now we should have plenty of time again. Yeah. Therefore... This is dumb, but it works. I'm gonna conserve magic by using magic. It also makes this easier to control. Let's see if I have the lens of truth on while while rolling. It can't do the special roll. last. I, I feel like he doesn't last for very long, but I, I've probably vastly underestimated it. Yeah. Do I have to destroy all of them? Oh no. Thank you. 
No, it's a lot easier at 60 FPS, if anything. Plus, I don't think the the frame rate even affects the uh, the inputs in any way. The game logic is still running at 20. This is gonna be bad, isn't it? I still have the lens on. Fuck. Okay, I don't have to do all of them, I just have to find the correct one. Do I have time? <laughs> I'll have to do this again anyway, so it's not that critical if I don't have time. Actually, yeah, this is kind of far away. Never mind. It's further away than I expected. Still a bit of waiting, but manageable. Definitely wouldn't have been able to carry the rock all the way. Yep, stone tower done. We're just cleaning up the last couple of things. I did like the flying worms. It was easily the best boss fight in the game. It's locked? What? Why is it locked? Oh, because it's not time yet. Better actually open <laughs> when the time comes. Yeah, it was by far the best dungeon in the game. Best dungeon and the best boss. do that yet, therefore we shall head to Ikana.
and time skip once. Actually, do we even have to time skip? How close are we? Oh yeah, we better time skip. This better fucking open. <laughs> He's using this place as his safe house uh, for keeping stolen goods. Apparently his name is Sakon. Came to shop last night and I followed him. The storage for the things he's stolen on th is on the other side of that rock door. Only Sakon can open it. Only way is to wait for Sakon to arrive. Okay. Thank you for confirming what I suspected. Therefore I can safely time skip. not in a hurry. It's not even slowed down. It's just that slow. Oh, I can't slow down time here. Well, uh, okay then. Never mind. Better hurry up then. Just gonna step on the button. Wow, smart man. Oh, I have magic that lets me do this. Oh! Oh! We're playing as this idiot now. Should be some device in this room that opens up. Yeah. I, I, I could do this alone, you know. Uh, what am I missing here? What the fuck? Why can't I do this? Oh, because I'm stupid. are puzzles for sure.
Oh, I was supposed to stand on the butter. I can't just pick it up. That's... That's great. This quest is unbelievably bad. Yeah, this like... I don't know what they were thinking. to do the worst part of the game again. <laughs> what am I supposed to do here? Sit here with my thumb up my ass. No, it's not the flow of time, it's some fucker at Nintendo not understanding that, hey, there are intervals of time other than 12 hours. If that's the only thing that lets me skip. You have just unsold Shenmue on me. I will never want to play Shenmue based on that comment alone. about the wrong thing. Don't actually care about this. I got less important things to talk to you about. Like this moron. I saw the two buttons a bit too late. Because <laughs> I thought the logical thing to do is, hey, pick up the mask, it's within arm's reach. <laughs> But I forgot I'm playing as fucking... What's his name? Cafe, and Cafe cannot use his hands. Plus, I hit, hit the button that makes, it, makes the conveyor belt speed up, which I couldn't undo because I lost control of Cafe at the point where I wanted to do it. Just a load of shit all around. There's a frog in here somewhere, I may as well go look for it. Yeah, I did push a button. I figured I would do the uh, other thing afterwards, because 
the way it was lined up made it much easier to push that that quite on that way and then backtrack later on, but backtracking wasn't an option. Yep, I got outplayed by bullshit. You know what, let's just make the fair assumption that the frog is probably somewhere near water. Like the other three frogs that I have found. Right behind water wall, waterfall. Aha, uh -huh. I don't think the frog is going to be here. Whatever this is, I don't think I have time to do it. It looks looks too elaborate to be done in. Ten seconds. Try anyway, because why not? What's in this room? Oh. I think this was mentioned somewhere. This is. Extend your life energy. Well, that was easy. I don't have enough hearts to hearts to do uh, one of these. Or two of these. Thing is not fun enough to fight. <laughs> Whatever the reward is, it's not worth it.
Let's do this and then let's head back to Ikana for for our guns. Yeah, I, I feel like lots of missed opportunities regarding that Goron guy. Oh. Well, this is not what I had in mind. Frogs anywhere in here? I see no frogs. Maybe I'm wrong and maybe there isn't a frog here. Here, I suppose. Oh, I should have time skipped like a long time ago. Well, the curse just ended, so I don't know. No frogs. Okay, maybe, maybe there are no frogs in this this place. The meat? What meat? If you mean the if you mean the rock, then no. Thank <laughs> you. 
I mean, I, I can't do the rock thing in the, in this cycle anyway. Or the, the frog thing, rather. So, I think the best I can do is try to be prepare for it. I was pressing up. Never mind. Okay, I guess I just can't jump. Frogs. I assume the sound I'm hearing is not a frog, it's it's the bird. It sounds kinda of like a frog though. Time. Loads of it. The sound stopped, so that was that was not the frog. No, there's still a sound. Oh, it's the second bird. There are two options for the for the frog thing. Either once I once I deal with the Goron situation, I get some sort of hint as to where to find the rest. Or I look it up. There is no third option. I will spend this much time looking for them blindly. As much as Cafe forces me to spend.
I mean, that's basically the same as looking it up. Used that that stone before. Not useful. I don't even know how to get over there. Like, do I need to use ice arrows? Oh, IGN guides are good because they're stolen. Haven't there, there, there have been guys who have said like, yeah, I, I posted my uh, my guide on Game Game Facts and later found it on IGN on a page full of ads. Nothing in here either. Yeah, and when you say it happened all the time back in the day, you mean it stopped happening because IGN already took all the guides. They didn't stop doing it because uh, because it was wrong. They stopped doing it because there was nothing left to do. Isn't it great how IGN also just both like half of all the other gaming outlets? It's a damn shame that uh, guides in general are just... <laughs> they've just declined in quality so much because people insist on making video tutorials on the most pointless things. Stuff that you could solve by <laughs> writing down one sentence or taking one screenshot. Now it's a five minute video guide. At least IGN can't steal those. Hey, Mato. And now all 
I gotta do is wait till this fuckhead goes up. I don't mind. We're doing absolutely nothing for the next five minutes because the, this quest line is designed by apes. I think this opens at like 1 a.m. <laughs> so yeah, we got time. <laughs> I, I, I suppose IGN can steal those, but it's not as easy. Especially if the... Actually, no, I, I don't think they can properly steal those unless they host it on their own video feed. And even then... It would be very easy to have taken down and called, called out. This could have been an email, yeah. I, I feel like half the time I'm... Uh, looking for something about, hey, where is item Y in game B? I, I, I don't need a video guide, I need the screenshot of the location, roughly. Sounds like Sounds like the streamer was being a being a dummy then. <laughs> Unless there's more to it. Then again, I've, I've seen people with stupid egos online. Like, there was some, I uh, probably is still, some, e <laughs> some real jackass in, in the Hitman community who banned people from his Discord because they hadn't chatted in long enough time. <laughs> like, alright, dude. Painting a real good picture of yourself there. Like, no lurking allowed. You gotta be active, or you're not worth it. No, I, I hope all of you have ad blocks. <laughs> if you don't have ad block in the year of our Lord 2024, then you're doing something wrong. I say as somebody who gets some form of money from ads.
I was supposed to skip even more. Shit, I've been waiting for nothing. Fuck my ass. how much of a, this game can be modded in its current state. Because clearly some modding has been done to to include the masks and the ocarina in D-pad. But uh, I wonder what more we can do. The full re, uh, full decompilation base port that will probably come someday in the next three years can probably do a whole ton of very, very cool stuff. But I wonder what you can do with this. Like, is it feasible that somebody just takes this and mods in a proper time skip? <laughs> and erases cafe. Yeah, I know the 3DS version has something like that. But I assume the 3DS version also doesn't run in widescreen at 60 FPS. And have extra item slots. be nice to have like a definitive edition. Both the the, the frame rate the resolution uh, mask usage improvements of this one and uh, whatever the 3DS version does with time and uh, other things. secrets. You have 
one hour. Finally! You know what? I'm gonna do this first. In case that makes a difference while I'm inside the inside the challenge room. And and then I and then I fast forward. So you know, first I warp. Then I'm gonna watch the Watch the thief run into his cave very, very slowly. This may take a while. <laughs> closely, you might be able to see that he is moving forward. Yeah, I played the reverse song of time, because I couldn't play the reverse song while I was inside the cave, and in case that makes a difference, I want to have it be actually complete. Not taking any chances here.
Are you kidding me? Is he coming back? Or do I have to do this again? Yeah, this is like minus one point to the overall score of the game. Like... Why did they leave this in the game? I can't give the letter. Bay mask? Oh, of course. Wow! Useless! Lasting stamina. Or is it permanent? Oh, it's like, yeah, temporarily infinite stamina. I would be okay with uh, both of these mistakes being on me. But it is inexcusable how fragile this quest is, considering in order to even attempt it, it's like half an hour of doing nothing. Oh! 
Oh, I, I hate how it's being unforgiving. It's not that it's, it's like, oh, you gotta do a thing again. It's, no, you gotta wait a thing again. It's so passive. That's the unforgivable part. Like I, I, it doesn't even let me play the game. It's uh, it's the, it's comparable to like an unskippable cutscene. I've been looking for. Oh yeah, for, for some reason I assumed that uh, the stick wouldn't even last that long. <laughs> nice timing.
this time I have time. I don't have time that I'm doing this instead. This is a hell of a thing to figure out, by the way. Like, hey, the meat is in the chandelier. Dorian's <laughs> cavern's finest quilt is rock sirloin. I have enough energy to fall down. John Garrow's mask. Oh! I get the mask already, so I don't have to do anything... anything with the frogs, unless I really want to. I got the mask, which is what I was really after. Piece of heart? Nope. <laughs> Figured as much the moment I saw the mask. It's like, well, if uh, if I wasn't doing it, or rather, if if I got the mask from that, then there's not much that I can get from uh, from dealing with the frogs. Alright, well that's progress. into first and third dungeons. I can say those are the two dungeons I would not have gone to. No, the third one maybe, but the first dungeon absolutely not. Would have never crossed my mind. Is there a hint for that anywhere? Or is that just <laughs> the, the most obnoxious heart piece quest known to mad? Also, where where was the hint for that uh, that chandelier thing? I assume there was one. Although I guess not necessarily, you can kind of make an educated guess that there's going to be something in one of those.
Hanju, you're late. for now. Time skip twice? I think I can. Yeah, I should be able to do this really quickly now. I was just playing it really carefully before. Probably needlessly so. It's entirely possible that there just was no hint for that. And you're just meant to figure it out based on... Hmm, I wonder what these torches are for. And... And wow, I can smash a piece of the chandelier. And then you put one and one together and... And by accident discover the thing. can do, do, do this like that, so don't have to wait all that much. At least the letter is down so I can time skip all the way around quite a lot more. Now stop talking! I, I know, I know, we've been through this like seven times now. I'm not sure why I even had to do this. Like, how is this <laughs> important to the quest? Like, Andrew doesn't need to know. She's not gonna do anything about anything. Town. Oh, oh yeah, actually that was mentioned before.
There he comes again! Still gonna play the slow uh, slow down song in case that makes a difference. Quest kind of reminds me of. It reminds me of how how Finnish army operates. It's like first you spend an hour doing nothing and waiting, and then suddenly you're in a hurry. I mean, I only got the experience of, of the one, so... Like, this whole thing would honestly be much easier if I could do this alone, without cafe. Can I now stab cafe? Now something happens somewhere at the very la last second. Ow! Ow! 
there somewhere. Upstairs. Oh, no, this door opens. I guess now I just wait. No, I, I checked the one, one room I felt was logical, and the next logical place I thought was gonna be somewhere around the clock tower. And then the next, the next from that would have been a cafe's room. And then the next after that would have been... I don't know, the the north part of town. This wasn't on the list. I guess I just wait. The notebook, of course, doesn't tell me shit. It says something happens in the last second. You know? Which is great. Lots of time to react at that point. So, feel free to tell me where to be, because I'm not doing this a uh, 15th time. Yeah, I, I can't check anything. I'm just hoping I'm in the right place. Always the last three days. Doesn't she leave this place at some point? Like, as in leave the inn? So I could have sworn I've seen her walk out. Unless... Unless that's the moment when she goes for the ranch on the third day. Yeah, that would make sense if she if she delivers the letter, because I, I I don't think the thing I'm thinking of uh, happened on the third day. I just remember seeing her leave the inn and not knowing where she went. A 
Cafe, you're really, really slow. Yeah, that's the thing. That's not creepy. Shall greet the morning together. Nope. <laughs> Sorry to disappoint you. But I don't think that's happening. <laughs> Hang on. Triple check. Everything except the mayor. All the masks, except one. All right. Let's go deal with the final thing. It feels like this would have been an appropriate time to head for the final boss and deal with everything, but no, I, I can't. I, I still have conspiracy nuts to convert. Oh, whatever comes next, I will definitely like it more than I like the cafe quest line. As, as far as Zelda games go, I, I think that is probably the worst bit that I have seen. I can't think of one off the top of my head that I actively disliked as much. couple has been married. I mean... No. <laughs> Did my wife flee? <laughs> yeah, she left you. <laughs> but you're stubborn and will stay and guard your family, or if you prefer to run away and seek shelter, that's for people who decide on their own. 
Thank you for walking into the room. I may be an unreliable mayor, but at least my family can depend on me. Yeah! It is done. Then we time skip a whole lot. of events here is probably the dumbest possible. <laughs> it's like, okay, we completed the obnoxious and very lengthy quest line. On, on the very minute before uh, the world ends. Then we went back in time to undo all that so we can solve a different quest line that makes people leave town. So we can go back to the brink of extinction and prevent it so they didn't have to leave town. The cafe stuff was nothing like that. <laughs> I, I don't see it comparable to Hitman at all. I just don't see the connection or the similarity. Uh, do I have to wait here? I guess I do. I guess the big difference with Hitman is that you can just follow the people and see what they're up to. You don't have to rely on a dumb notebook to tell you that something happens at this hour somewhere. You may or may not have to interact with it. Fast forward once more, to skip to the very end. Yeah, let's not dance through dawn, that's a bad idea.
What's gonna happen? Oh, well. I guess I will just sit here for the next five minutes. Trying to get the camera still, so I can manipulate a YouTube algorithm to generate a thumbnail. Not as good as the bow is in the way. Yeah, this is recompiled. <laughs> oh, thanks, Web. I, I gotta start playing some some Blood Money again eventually to figure out exactly what I want to showcase. With the songs. I've had issues with nothing. Or nothing recompilation related. I have plenty of issues with some fuckhead called Cafe. But the port has been working perfectly. Yeah, I, I assume that's always been a bug. It doesn't feel like something the recompilation would add. There we go. What the hell? <laughs> That's odd. Are you sure key bindings are right? All of those songs use uh, left and up. Nice view of the nostrils. Uh, uh, I gotta look up all the songs now. Oh, <laughs> uh, wait. What song did I actually need? Oath to Order, that's the one. <laughs> for some reason, I thought there was gonna be a song for each one, but no, it's just Oath to Order. Left down A, and then a sweep.
No. Left, down, A. Sweep. Are we fighting inside of the moon? I'm just consume.
Well, this is nice. There wouldn't happen to be an extra mask here. I'm still technically missing one. And I have your... Oh! Oh, I know you guys. Will I be a mask salesman? You want a mask? You want lots of masks? Well, you're talking to the right man. I no longer need this. I assume that's an exit, so I don't want to take that. Okay, I, I'm not gonna use this thing against uh, against Majora. <laughs> Good thing I didn't give away this mask. Uh, the one cursed by the strange sparkling gold spiders has the mask of truth. I know, yeah. <laughs> it's a bit late to tell me that. Okay, so these tell me mask locations in case I happen to still miss some. So very convenient that it gave me arrows right before this. I've used like one bomb through this entire game. And it didn't do what I wanted it to do. Can I hookshot onto those? 
No. Am I meant to bump through them? I have not done this at any point, so I, I really don't know if these do something. one more in the middle. It's gotta be, right? Maybe not. Huh? Am I missing a hookshot place? blow up automatically when it hits something like that. No, it does not. How can I make it blow up then? Do I have to send it like through here? Just time it? I don't know how to time it. I, I legit don't know how to use these things. <laughs> I've not used these at any point in the game. I don't know how to time it. I thought it's automatic. Oh. Thank you. Oh god. Oh god. Why would you do this? Yeah, I have auto saves. I see no more bomb chewable things. You want more masks? I'll give you the ones I don't think I have any use for anymore.
I'll make the bold assumption and say that this is how I get the final mask. By giving away all the other ones. I don't think I have enough masks, masks to give these people. If all of them want the same amount. <clears throat> or maybe they each require fewer than the previous one. Okay, always going right. Gets me not the right place, huh? X, so punch is X, which makes sense with the orientation of the buttons on screen, and then uh, B and Y are left and right for the masks, and then uh, right bumper is the bottom uh, bottom item. I'm just gonna make a blind guess and see where I end up. Tree process of elimination, embrace process of get lucky. You can have this shit mask. Take it away from my hands. Also, you can use the, the right thumbstick to use items as well. No, 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 I will play. I'll, I'll hang on to that, because that, that's the one mask that might still be at all useful. There's one quest that has overstayed its welcome, but that's that's it. And it's done now. Not 
I bought the chicken beast. They just threw me mask locations, I'm sure. Oh, this piece of heart just <laughs> chilling over there, huh? I mean, you know what? I'm not even gonna go for it. I just got a new heart. Meaning that I'm not gonna get three more pieces. Even if I do get that one. Oh god, that's not enough. Oh, I am only now noticing that there are different colors. Oh, you can't go in there. That's why it's a different color. Is that it? Or I wasn't close enough. is getting very deep. For a Zelda at least. And it seems like the, the amount of masks they want is, uh, is tied to uh, the boss order. Dungeon order, rather. Oh, oh no. Oh no. Was I supposed to bounce off? I sure didn't. God. We may be here for a while. Where am I going?
seriously. Yeah, you definitely do need to control. Not that you can. <laughs> It does seem to spin automatically once it gets speed or gets up to the spike mode. What if I just stop holding a direction? Well, that went well. Okay. Actually, yeah, this seems to work. I'll run out of magic, but this seems to work. kill myself. <laughs> Much easier. Actually, hang on. Shit. The keyboard controls are not bound. It's really hard with a with an Xbox stick because it doesn't have the notches. Yeah, it's already going in a in an angle that I can't work with. So, if you can start it off by going exactly straight, then you don't have to control it. But that's not really feasible with an Xbox controller. I don't even know where I'm supposed to go after that point. Did say we were gonna be here for a while. This might be good. Nice. Nice. I fall anyway. Oh god, it keeps going. Wait, what? 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 
That's it. What? That wasn't where I was supposed to go? Okay, I guess I went way further than I was supposed to. I'm just supposed to get to the middle. At least I see some stones in the middle, so... I have to assume that's the place to go. That might be the strat. Lock in so you can't accidentally turn. I used my my two brain cells. No, it's it's just that finicky. It's nothing wrong with the controller. It just I would love to have some no notches in it. Is this good? Did I accomplish something? I, I, Mickey, I, I gotta bring back my, my old 360 controller, which I, I used nail clippers to carve in a notch. This is the final one. And it wasn't dedication to the notch, it was more of a more dedication to uh, the stick drifting so much, or I guess what's the opposite of drifting? <laughs> the stick was so old that uh, if I pushed it forward, it wouldn't like register as it was tilted all the way, so I had to carve out a piece of plastic so I could tilt the stick further forward. <laughs> and as a side result, I got a notch. Yeah, I, I guess in a way the dead zone was extending. <laughs> you're the bad guy. When you're bad, just run. It wasn't, wasn't really the dead zone, it was just that the extremes of the stick weren't working properly. But yeah, that, that controller saw some shit. While I was modifying it, I also took out the, uh, took out the rumble entirely, just threw it away. <laughs> And it also had like pieces of uh, cardboard and paper under some buttons and under the D-pad to make everything work a bit better. Like I 
I had that controller on life support for a long time. Remember your battles when something resistance resistant would deflect your weapons? What was the backside usually like? I got like no arrows. That's not optimal. I get... what is it? Clear status mask. Its dark power can be used only in boss rooms. What does this do? Oh, it's a transformation mask. Oh! Big boy Link. Let's let's keep this fair though. No, oh, no, wrong button. What did I? I don't even know what I hit hit it with. See what's going on in this. I can do in this situation. Come on. Hit me up with that beam again.
Still? Okay. Is that a periscope? What a... What a tonal shift. Out of arrows. Ow? Ow? Can I get up? No way.
Yeah, I, I deliberately gimped myself by not using Fierce Deity or uh, Great Fairy Sword. The double defense definitely helped, though. Epona's not okay with this. Oh, look at that Mario mask. You sure have managed to make quite a number of people happy. Well, I have seen Rewind a Time, so I'm not sure they're happy anymore. <laughs> I think that guy just doesn't have animations. He's uh he's a weird like that. Took a while. Wait, 
Wait, wait, wait. Who's playing the guitar? Underwhelming? Really? I thought the ending was really good. And I have played Outer Wilds. It's uh, probably in my top 10 games of all time. Highly recommend it to everybody. Don't look into it, just play it. I still don't know which one I prefer. They are very, very similar in, in many regards. I, I feel like... Right now I would say that Ocarina is the better game. But as time will pass and I forget, forget the cafe quest, I might start preferring this one. I wonder if I would say that this is straight up better than Ocarina if I hadn't done all masks. Because those the, the mask collecting and uh, side quests definitely had their had their ups, but they also had some of the most frustrating and bullshit parts of the game. Time leap better? I mean, they, they do very different types of time leaps. Both do it very successfully, I think. Which is a very cop-out answer, but I don't think they're really that comparable. The game was good. And uh, the port was excellent.
Pokemon Sun, Sun is Tingle? I see. That's... I don't know if that makes sense. I won't think about it. <laughs> it's better than the console version? Um, if you like low frame rates, then the console version is probably better. Yeah, this is this is running at like 120 FPS, 1440p. <laughs> As opposed to N64, which is 17 FPS. Is it what, 240p? <laughs> and I, I guess it doesn't do anything. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Guess we're done. <laughs> Let's take a look at the original resolution in the end screen. Beautiful. Yeah, I, I actually wonder how the PAL version would work with recompilation. Because uh, the game logic is still running at 20 FPS. It's just that it's rendering at a higher frame rate. So, so I wonder if, if the PAL version is still technically slower. <laughs> Even though it looks smoother. I, every time I hear this song, I, I kind of want to replay Deus Ex, or the first half of Deus Ex, just with the soundtrack, it's so good. Anyway, Majora's Mask, finished. All masks did it. It took 29 hours, which is incredibly long. <laughs> I, I still remember the, the story and missions and stuff from Deus Ex too well. So in that sense, I don't want to replay it. I just want to listen to the music. <laughs> okay, yeah, sure. If, note, if you think the notebook is worth noting here. You can throw it in there. Oh, it doesn't work. That's supposed to scale. Anyway, you can do this. See, does this fit? Does this fit? There we go. That fits. <laughs> okay. Start with the obvious thing. The recompilation port uh, is the definition of black magic. Yeah, I can't spell. <laughs> but yeah, th that port is just. And the uh, heck behind it. Yeah, this this whole recompilation thing, I 
I hope it goes far. I uh, I hope it effectively kills emulation. <laughs> well, not not really. I, I think emulation still has its place as far as being uh, more authentic, accurate to the slowdowns and all. But as far as if you would like to casually play through a game like like this, like I just did, this is infinitely better. This is a very good comment. What's the difference? Em emulation attempts to emulate the system and run like a good emulator would be accurate to the way it was on the original system, with all the all the limitations applied. Whereas this sort of recompilation just says, "Hey, what if we just..." took the game and made it as, like, removed all the technical limitations. Yeah, maybe the Nintendo League had something to do with it, I wouldn't know. But if that's the case, then thank you Nintendo for your inability to handle your files. Oh yeah, em emulation is still obviously the way to go for most consoles. <laughs> but I, I, I feel like this should be... This should be the thing to strive for. Yeah, exactly. It's, also, it's not just that this is good for me who wants to play this, but... Honestly, if, if Nintendo had any idea what they're doing, this is how they would be uh, re-releasing their own games. Yeah, I, I, I don't think I had any issues with the port. At all. Like, comparing this to, like, re-releases of PC games, this, like, fucks up all of them. This is just one of the best ports I've seen. Which is ridiculous. That's not how this is supposed to go. Why is this a better PC port than Bioshock Remastered? A PC game remastered on PC. Like, fuck, this, this is like setting standards. <laughs> Anyway, great port. What about the game? I think the premise of this game was probably the best uh, out of all the Zelda games I've seen or played. Just a just the simple idea that the moon is going to crash in three days. I just really like that base concept.
Okay, fine. Let's let's be British. similarities with OOT for obvious reasons. Uh, the, the fairy is a fairy. She talks less, so I guess it's an improvement. I don't know if simple is necessarily the right word for what I'm trying to describe here. But it's just one of those games that flows really nicely. For the most part, anyway. <laughs> now, uh, I, I think the real issue with Navi is that Actually, actually, yeah. The, the obvious improvement between uh, Navi and Tidal is that uh, Tidal doesn't have a voice. It's not that Navi talks too much or interrupts you, but it's the constant, Hey, listen! That everybody hates. <laughs> Tidal doesn't do that, so she's better. Supplements implementation? I don't think so. Because, uh... I don't think the dungeons were an improvement. They were perhaps even worse, and the, the bosses were definitely worse. Not, not like... to a huge detriment or anything. But... Three out of the five bosses in this game... were pretty bad. Like, we had the jungle warrior, which was just... He's jumping around, and I hit him until he dies. At no point did it feel like he was fighting back, even. Then we had... Uh, what was it? Oh, the, the horse running in a circle. That was just extremely clumsy. And first time I did it, I just cheesed it, because it was very obviously cheesable. Then there was the fish, which just, again, felt really clumsy. And it, it wasn't until then, when the bosses got good with, uh... What was it called? I can't remember the boss names. Odulwa was the first one. Twin Mold or something. The Stone Tower boss was the first actual good boss, but hey, it was one of the best bosses in between this and Ocarina. Actually, let's let's mention that. Uh -huh. Stone Tower was probably the best dungeon. Uh, dungeon plus boss combination. In, in both this and OOT. Like, Stone Tower was just by far my favorite temple, and I would say probably by far the best temple in either N64 Zelda. I can't remember too strongly how the OOT temples were. But I think I will probably remember Stone Tower.
I, I don't know how. I mean, I do know how I, I I would improve some of those bosses. Just make the mechanics less clumsy. And you know what? That's something to to bring up. Um, the mask abilities were a good addition. But, uh, but the movement-based skills, or rather the, uh, let's put it this way, transformation mask. There were some of those occasional sections where you were expected to do some sort of precise movement with the, with your mask abilities, and it just didn't feel good. It was manageable, but it wasn't fun. Like, in theory, rolling around as Sonic the Hedgehog should be fun, but as soon as you turn that into precision platforming, it... It doesn't feel any good anymore. <laughs> Same thing with the flying as the Deku. It was fine for most of the game, but in Stone Tower you had a few sections where you were expected to do some rather precise flying or switch directions, and it just couldn't handle it. And same thing with, with the Zora swimming. It's like... It should be cool swimming really fast, but at the same time, if I have to do anything precise, it, I lose control and it's no longer fun. Is, is Fee the character from Skyward Sword? Because that is one I haven't played. I do have it, though, so I could play it. Maybe one day. <laughs> I mean, Max Payne 2 is there twice because I've played it twice since I made this site. It's not the only one that's there multiple times. Interesting to explore. But the notebook itself. Uh, was an awful tool. For tracking anything. And at worst. Uh, Gave misleading hints. I feel like there were at least a couple of sections where I, I would have been better off not looking at the notebook. Because I was just looking at the minimal amount of info it gives and misinterpreting it and shooting myself in the foot. If I think back on like which parts I 
liked and disliked. I feel like Cafe is involved in more than half of the parts I disliked. So let's elaborate on this similarities with Ocarina of Time as well, a bit more. Sometimes the progression was was obtuse, and it and a side quest or a side thing turned out to be a mandatory part of the critical path. I think the most notable one for me is that I uh, I had a few days off playing this, and I forgot that I unlocked the uh, what is it called the big explosion explosion the the barrel, and it turned out that that barrel was necessary to make progress. So I don't like how, how that sentence flows. There we go. Yeah, skill issued memory. Don't remember what you did 14 hours ago? Get fucked. Oh, an another big example of not knowing what to do was uh, entering Ikana Valley. I was like, hey, you need this mask. I had the mask, I just didn't realize that that was the mask that did it, because the description wasn't giving it... Uh, uh, description wasn't... Uh, informative enough and when I got the got the mask it may have given me a better hint but that was like 15 hours ago at that point what else? What did I say about Ocarina? Oh, similar things. You know, the combat system didn't really bother me that much in this one. Even though I have noted that down here for Ocarina. I'll just general comparison to Ocarina. Um, about as good as Ocarina. Mm -hmm. No, but also yes. I'll elaborate in a bit. First, I'll, I'll do the controversial thing. <laughs> I'm gonna give it a seven. I gave Ocarina an eight. Mm. And I, hmm, this is really difficult to put into words. But I, I feel like Ocarina is the better game when you first play it. But on a second playthrough, Majora's Mask will easily be the better game. Because it's it feels a bit more open-ended. And even if it maybe isn't. 
but you can uh, you can avoid a lot of the pitfalls that you have in, on the first playthrough, such as all of the waiting time, which actually is something I need to mention. Time time loops are cool and all, but uh, this desperately, desperately. Way too much waiting around. Not to be confused with the, the Ocarina item that's in these games. Stronger feels. About the same, really, I'd say. If anything, I'd say that both these games should be like a 7.5. Ocarina is an 8, and Majora's is 7, so together they can be 7.5. This is how my, my scoring system works, and nobody can stop me. Though the uh, rating uh, may go up in the future, as I forget the bad parts. Which I think is a valid reason to increase some increase a score. If the if the lasting impact the game has is that I remember the good parts but not the bad parts, then that's a good thing. So if I'm able to wipe Cafe's quest out of my mem memory, then then I'll probably like this game a lot more in the future. Yeah, it, it is the price of the mechanic, absolutely, but it's, it's still wasn't handled as well as it could have been, and apparently the uh, 3DS version does fix that. So it's not like it was an impossible thing to fix. It's just kind of funny that uh, Outer Wilds, a game that came out like 20 years after Majora's Mask, still had the same issues at launch but it had the uh, had the upper hand of uh, coming out <laughs> in modern with modern on modern systems so they could patch it and add those things that uh, this game never got 
until 3DS. I say, Outer Wilds initially didn't allow you to rest at a bonfire. Or whatever uh, the mechanic is called in that. And that was only added like months later in a patch, I think. Anything else? Overall, good game. I'm glad I played it. I don't think it's my favorite Zelda, at least not yet. Again, it might might get there eventually over time. As I remember the good parts and forget the bad parts. But I'd say that still... Wind Waker is probably my favorite. Oh, I have loads of Zeldas left to play. I just... Don't know if I ever will. <laughs> It's like I'm not committed to completing this series. Majora's Mask in particular was just one I was interested in. Nah, I'm not gonna do the 3DS version. <laughs> If anything, if I'm gonna ever replay this in any capacity, I'll I'll wait for a, some sort of modded version of the recompilation or a decompilation for it. Something that allows uh, more granular control of time. And just quality of life features. Like, I, I think it's completely unnecessary that uh, that you lose your bombs and arrows. When you uh, when you return to day one, or you know, bombs and arrows, fine, but something like beans, bombs and arrows, you can get so easily, and a lot of the time, if you if you warp, as you often do after resetting to day one, there's a bunch of pots or rocks or snowballs or something, right right next to the warp uh, warp statue, and you can just refill your basic items there. But with beans, like that's that's a lot more work to refill your beans, and as a result, the only time I ever did that was uh, was when I was forced to do it, it at the uh, at the well in Ikana. Yeah, I, I haven't played the, the Switch uh, Zeldas, either of them. Like, I, I need to look up like list of Zeldas to see which ones I've played. And many of these were a long ass time ago. Let's see... Uh, Link to the Past I played a long time ago on Game Boy Advance. Link's Awakening I've played. Ocarina I've played. Majora. Oracle of Seasons, Wind Waker, Minish Cap, Twilight Princess. <laughs> I know I've played Phantom Hourglass. I couldn't tell you a single thing about it. It is unbelievably forgettable. And for that reason, I don't even want to play it again. <laughs> for all the other ones, I have at least some, some memories. But... but but Phantom Hourglass is so nothing. <laughs> it left no impression whatsoever. <laughs> oh, Nintendo would never allow you to do anything with their games except buy them again and play for a short period of time until they release their next console. Uh, no, I, I played... I played Link's Awakening twice. First I played uh, the original Game Boy version 
in German without knowing a word of German. And then at some point, like maybe a couple of years after that, I played the, the DX version. The, the one word of German I learned was Hilfe, which means help. Because there's one section in that game where somebody screams help, or in this case, Hilfe! And that word fills up the entire screen. <laughs> and that's all, all German I learned from that game. <laughs> but hey, it's stuck. 20 years later, I still remember. That's more than I can say for Phantom Hourglass. <laughs> also, if I am to play Link's Awakening again at any point, which... Honestly, not impossible, because... I get good memories of that one. I probably wouldn't stream it, though. I'd probably play it on a handheld or something. I, I would definitely play... Uh, either the original or DX. I don't really have interest in the... Uh, into remake. I also don't really have interest in the... What do you even call it? I, I think it was just another remake that that uh, some fans made. Except it was like a full replica of the original game. With the difference that uh, you could zoom the camera out as much as you want. And you could, you could see the full map at once. Yeah, without loading zones. I, and I, I think that's kind of missing a point. Like the, the screen transitions are... kind of an important part of the game. And I think taking them away spoils a lot of it. Okay, if the screen transitions are still there, then good. It's just... It's a weird setting. Like, I, I wouldn't consider that to be a selling point of that that version. If anything, it's kind of the opposite. At, at least, theoretically, should just make the game worse. Now, not even dungeons, because... It is just... Imp the, the way the rooms are framed is important. So you, you can't see what's on the other side of a wall. <laughs> also, every, uh, every every tile or room or screen in that game has a purpose. So when you blur the lines between, uh, between the screens, it blends together in a, in a way it wasn't meant to. Rule Warriors. Eh, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, System Shock soundtracks. Absolute banger. Another game I recommend to everybody. Play it for five minutes, conclude that you can't control it, then give up. Or the CDI Zeldas. Oh, as I was listing which Zeldas I've played, I forgot. I have I have played Wand of Gamelon. It is it is a game I finished. ESA 2012. <laughs> and uh, I know some people are big fans of Zelda Zelda 2. So I wouldn't rule that out. I'm sure there's something to it. Just, I'm not into 2D stuff that much. Or side-scrolling 2D stuff, more specifically.
So, which remake are you referring to, Adam? Just, oh yeah, absolutely, I recommend the original System Shock, or Enhanced Edition. That game has personality. It's so... Uh, nothing... There's nothing like it. Except, except... I think within like a couple of weeks is uh, there's an indie game coming out that I'm looking forward to called Sonar Shock. Which looks exactly like System Shock. Like, they, they took the System Shock UI... And they're making a new game with it. Like... Fucking finally somebody gets it. I hope it controls as as interestingly as System Shock. <laughs> so you know what? As I as I'm talking about this, fuck it, fuck it. It does feel wrong to have it at. Uh, Lower score than uh, Ocarina. Yeah, Sonar Shock. Takes place in a submarine, I think. And yeah, the CDI games, or at least one of them, got a remake, but I, I played it on an authentic CDI. I also played like half of. Faces of Evil. Yeah, I'm already forgetting the bad parts. I, or maybe I'm not forgetting the bad parts, but this game did one one thing very well. It was kind of, uh, uh, I don't know, backloaded with the good stuff. <laughs> it it has a right towards the end. It had Stone Tower. It had Twin Mold. And it had uh, Majora's Mask, the boss fight. And it, uh, it's nice when the game can leave a, a good final impression. There's some recency bias having just done the Majora fight, which was pretty cool. I would much rather end on that than the cafe quest. <laughs> Evil brothers in Majora. All right. I feel like I've heard other people have that take on Lunacid as well. It's a bad ending and really spoil a game. save. Oh man, that was so long. 29 hours out of 8 parts. I had to look this up yesterday. What was the last time I had a game go on for this many parts? And granted, the length of a stream is is varies a lot, and especially these days, I try to be try to do it not seven-hour streams, make it a bit shorter than that. But the last time I, I had this many parts for one game was Payday Two in 2019.
So it's been a while. It, after after this 29 hour journey and dread delusion which is likely gonna be a good while as well like how, how far into dread delusion am I I'm 13 hours into dread delusion I think there's probably like seven to ten hours left if I had to guess so between these two very long games I, I think the next game I'm gonna play, whatever it is, well, outside, outside of Buckshot Roulette, it's gonna be a short one, or rather, multiple short games, because so many long games recently. Even Prisoner of War was 12 hours, which is above average, and Killer713. That was the last game that took 29 hours. Let's see. I, I feel like I know when I wasn't streaming that one. Alan Wake was 24. Yeah, Persona 3 was 70. Thank fuck I didn't stream that. <laughs> uh, the music is Northern Journey. The song is Dead Well. Northern Journey. Another game I recommend to everybody. Yeah. Way, way, way too long. It's my summary of uh, Persona 3. The last time I streamed a game that was 29 hours. I feel like we're gonna go way back. Oh yeah, we're going way back. Ocarina was 20? <laughs> Only three parts, though. Those were long parts. Thirty-two hours, payday three. And I think you mean longest journey. Longest journey was probably I don't know. Well it's in there somewhere, but that was also way too fucking long. Twenty two hours. <laughs> And yeah, I did beat Noita in eight and a half hours. I I got unbelievably lucky with uh, my twenty-third attempt. I just beat the second half of the game on the first try. Yeah, impressive. Totally not lucky. <laughs> I meant to continue playing Noida even after that, but my brain doesn't work that way. Like, I, I feel like I finished it. I'm sure there's a whole lot to see still, especially since I know I didn't actually see some of the areas, because it was dark. <laughs> but I, I still feel like I got my, my feel of Noida. Yeah, I played Forgive, my, Forgive Me Father 2 when it first came out in Early Access. It was okay. It's a shooter. No strong feelings either way for that. Huh. I, 
didn't realize I only had listed three Zeldas in here. <laughs> All with rating of 8. And it seems like lengthwise, the 3D Zeldas are pretty consistent. 20, 20, 29, but I did a lot of side stuff. Such a fan boy. But anyway, I, I think I think that's plenty for today. Game done. Uh, next time on stream, I'll I'll start. Uh, Working on beating, um, what's that game called? <laughs> Dread Delusion. Dread Delusion somewhere. That is also, also a quite a good game. Oh, but yeah. We'll, we'll see if I stream tomorrow or how I will stream in the coming days. Things happening. Also, Blood Money needs to come back and, you know... We'll see where, where things go, but uh, Dread Delusion is number one priority right now, whenever I stream next. Uh, ESA is in almost exactly two months. Anyway, uh, thank you for watching, have a good night, and see you later. Bye!